What is up YouTube? This is Asian with Cards and I'm doing a deck profile on my Marincess deck. Um, first of all, sorry I haven't posted in a while. I think I posted a deck profile of myself like Pride or Nats. Uh, so it's been a while. I've just been super busy with like work. Um, I played a little bit of Magic on the side, um, so I didn't really have time. And I went to Regional a couple weeks ago. Uh, I did pretty bad, so I didn't want to upload that video. Um, but yeah guys, uh, I built Marincess uh, recently and I've uh, been testing it online and at Locals and it's performing pretty well. I took it to a Locals uh, this past Thursday. I went X2, um, didn't do that bad, even though I didn't top. Um, my matches felt like all winnable, except the one against Tier, where he drew uh, Super Poly game three. Um, but other than that, like I think the, the, the deck ran pretty smoothly. Um, I like just having like one card engines. Um, like Pretty much every monster in your deck is a starter, and then you just play a bunch of hand traps, uh, slash like go and send cards. Um, so yeah, before I start with the profile, I just wanna give a shout out to uh, this guy, Jeremy at Locals. Um, he says he uh, he told me like he likes my videos, so I thought I'd give him a shout out. Um, he's playing Rescue Ace right now. He's been playing like Sword Soul. Really chill guy from my local area. So uh, shout out to you if you're watching this video. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, guys, I'll go with the main deck side and extra. Um, so for Marincess monsters, um, I play the Triple Seahorse uh, standard um, one card starter. Uh, like I said, they're all one card starters. Uh, so this just says um, when it's in your hand, you can special summon it to a zone. A Marincess link monster points to. So pretty good. And then if we play, excuse me, uh, triple blue tang, uh, this uh, pretty much like a foolish burial on summon. And then when it's used for link summon, uh, you can reveal top three cards of your deck, and then you can add one Marincess card from that. Uh, so pretty good. Really, it's, that's the best like um, standalone monster in the deck. Um, and then we play uh, triple Pascalus. Uh, this one is a normal summon. You can special summon one from your hand. Um, and then in Grave, you can banish it to add a uh, trap from your Grave to your hand. Um, this one's really good in playing against, like, Book of Moon or, like, certain removal because you can normal summon it, and then if they pop it, you still get the summon. Uh, so it's pretty good. It's good for making Bahamut. And then for other three ofs, uh, we play Triple Spring Girl. Uh, Spring Girl is an extender. Um, it's also um, all by itself a uh, full combo. And then also you can banish your Marincess monster from your grave to special summon it from your hand. So it's a good extender. Um, if you normal summon your uh, like a blue tang, and let's say they pop it and you have this in your hand, you can always extend with this. And then for the one of uh, the one Mandarin, uh, this one special summons to a zone a Marincess monster points to um, in the graveyard. You can special summon from the graveyard if you have uh, two or more Marincess monsters. Uh, so it's pretty good for extending. Uh, the one Basilima, uh, this one just protects um, your cards from the start of battle. Or I believe it's, um, yeah, just by card effects, you can banish from the grave. Um, and then one, Sleepy Maiden. Uh, this one just helps equip your guys from grave. Uh, just so you can make your um, Aqua Argonaut a uh, spell and trap negate. So that's it for the uh, Marincess monsters. For Marincess spells, uh, pretty standard. The one Battle Ocean and the double dive. Um, I've been testing this ratio a lot. Um, I kind of want to try um, playing uh, triple dive. Um, even though it can be a brick because it's a hard once per turn. If you're a normal summon gets stopped, you can like extend with dive as well. Also, um, if you if you have dive already with like a starter, you can search for the ocean to make this an e-telly, which is pretty cool. So that's why I like that. Um, that's really this is the card you really want to add back off the uh, coral. So, and then for the one trap, uh, Marissa's trap, I just play one wave. I was thinking of playing this, putting it two. I'm not sure about three, but two I might put it up to because um, against uh, my tier one player, I activated desires and I banished this and my battle ocean. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I might consider playing more of those cards. And that's it for the uh, Marincess cards. And then for, like, non-engine spells, I won't call by, just because sometimes this deck can lose to one Ash, depending on your hand. Um, two Book of Moon. Um, I was thinking of playing Eclipse, um, but I didn't have any room. Um, it'd definitely be, like, the other card I'd, cut, I'd put in if I, uh, like, wanted to change up some ratios. Uh, double Talents. Uh, this card put in a lot of work for me. Um, my, my Desire's got Ash, and then I just drew two off this. So that was pretty cool. And then double Desires. Um, I've seen people play Prosperity also, uh, but I think Desires is the best just because the extract is so tight. Um, like I, I, I was testing it for a while, the Desire or the uh, Prosperity, but like in the grind game, I would just be like, oh, all my cards are banished. Uh, so it's not really that good. But um, yeah, I like Desires a lot. And then for going second cards, like I guess the Hand Traps, uh, Triple Ash, uh, Triple Nib, uh, Triple Droll, uh, triple Veiler and Triple Imperm. Uh, these hand traps all worked out pretty well. Um, I played against an Unchained player, uh, my friend Joey, um, and these hand traps all worked out pretty well, except for the Droll. Um, but Imperm and Imperm and Veiler are just really good against the uh, Yama or Yama, whatever his name is. The uh, the Link Two that starts off all the plays for Unchained is pretty good. 
So that's that. The goal of the deck is just to open up like one, um, like one air test monsters, like one to two air test monsters, and then all non-engine. So the deck kind of has a low ceiling, um, but it pretty much doesn't really, I don't think I bricked it once today. Uh, so yeah, I'll go on with the uh, extra deck. Let's see here. So for extra deck, uh, we play two Sea Angel. Um, this one on summon adds a Marincess spell, or, or I believe, yeah, just spell, Marincess spell. Um, and then two Blue Slug. Um, this one on summon adds one back from your grave, a Marincess uh, monster. So it combos really well with um, the Seahorse. And we play two Coral. Um, this is your main um, facilitator of all your combos. And if you don't kill, if like, because usually go into a grind game with this deck. Um, so this card just really good to make a second one. So. And then also when it dies, you can add back one from Grave, so it's really good for Recursion. Uh, the one Marble Rock, I made this once, um, and it got impermed, so I can't really say. In testing, though, like online, it's been performing pretty well. Sorry, guys, for the interruption. My like, TV had an ad, so I didn't want to put that in the video. Um, but yeah, the Marble Rock, uh, one Triangle. Um, triangle is really good for searching the uh, trap. Um, it's, if you, like, depending on what you open in your combo, uh, you can go for this to search for Wave. And then I'm um, going in the, like, in the follow-up, it's a good card to... Um, help you with um, pushing for game because it's pretty much a soul charge for two to three depending on what you have in your grave um you want argonaut uh this is your boss monster the argonaut and the bubble reef where you go turn one depending on your play your opponent uh, like what they're playing or what cards have in their hand if you have um like two to three hand traps i usually go for argonaut uh, but if you open like one hand trap and like mostly engine i usually go for the bubble reef just so i can draw into more interruption um the one splash mage it's an honorary uh Marincess. And the one sea dragon uh this card i went for game twice uh this card is so good like i just clean boards um it's really good against the um the uh what's it called unchained deck because it doesn't trigger any of their guys and then for uh xyz's the one toad uh, i guess the bahamut to go with the toad and then the uh, stealth dragon because i side goes and match so that's it for the uh extra deck let's see here And then for the side deck, the side deck was pretty good. Um, I'll let you guys know what was the MVP. Um, I played two Gamma Seal. Um, you can add it back off the Coral, so it's good to play Gamma Seal as your Kaiju. Uh, didn't side it in once, didn't need it. And then I played Triple Skullmeister. This card was MVP against the, uh, against Bra against the, um, I played against Chimera and this like stopped him. And then against uh, Un or, yeah, Unchained, it was just crazy. Um, if you have like this and any other hand trap, you just pretty much stop their turn. It's crazy, crazy card. And then for back removal, the one Harpies, uh, Double Lightning Storm. Um, I feel like it was round four. I played against a Sprite. It was some kind of Sprite variant, um, and he flipped up their can. It was like Sprite with Chemical Critters. I know, crazy. Um, so I'm glad I had these in there for like their can and stuff. Uh, triple goes in match, and triple evenly for going second. Uh, so that's the deck profile, guys. Uh, once again, sorry for not uploading in a while. Uh, I'm sure no one pays attention to that, but yeah. Um, it's, uh, I like this deck a lot. I've been testing it like loads. Um, and I also want to play something like salads. Like these decks, like are pretty much the same. Uh, so yeah, guys. Without further ado, uh, that's it for the profile. So thank you.